Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And we are going to be doing some altered flash cards today. So if you are new to the channel and you're just coming on, hey, 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 we are doing, uh oh, you know, I do that every time I <laughs> forget to turn, forget to turn my sound down on my computer. So sorry about that. But if you're new to the channel and um, we are doing 20 pieces of ephemera per day. And of course, it's not possible all the time for me to do all 20 on camera, but um, hopefully I can give you some ideas to get you started with some of your junk journal ideas. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out because you don't want to you don't want to miss this. So I've been pretty consistent and been coming on every day. So for those of you that are not here on the live chat, that is OK. If you are um, actually coming on on the replay, just know that this is being recorded live. Live. So I'll probably be chit chatting with some of my junk journal buddies over in the chat as well. So these are uh, kind of what we go we're going to be making. And these are altered flashcards. So let me just show you each one of these real quick. So these are what what we're going to be doing. And this is what it looks like on the back. So I've done a few of these. I don't think I've done these on camera, but I can't remember. But I only was able, to, whenever I did these, I only did a few. So I want to do some more because I am doing some little golden books and I was trying to figure out some ways to, you know, um, put some whimsical elements into the books and not just, you know, your ordinary vintage type of things. So I decided to make these altered flashcard pockets and I'll show you exactly what we're doing and of course I always say this is not a tutorial because this is just something I need to do for myself but <laughs> I will tell you what I'm doing so that you can uh, you can do it too if you so wished to do so so I hope everybody's doing good today um, also before we get started I just wanted to kind of show you all what I've been working on I actually um, have like these old vintage newspapers. They're almost antique newspapers and I've had them for a while. And uh, finally I started to put things together so that um, I can put them out as digitals. The advertising in those newspapers are incredible. Hey Rachel, thanks for joining me. And so I, I I actually have, I put this kit up today already, and it is three pages of vintage advertising. And when you read through some of them, they're actually, some of them are kind of funny too, but they have wonderful graphics in them. So that's why I wanted to do these. So it's actually three pages of these graphics. So this is the first page. And then we have the second page. Wait, let me, let me get my other light on here. Here we go make sure we have some good lights going and then we have uh, this one let me get my feet back in oh, let's do it this way so we can see so that actually this can be a paper doll and that could be a paper doll there too and I printed these on cardstock paper so this is white cardstock so they're actually uh, black and black and white images so you get three PDFs with those and again those are already up at the shop over at Pleasant Creations so you can check those out and you can cut these out and put them into your um, junk journals now I wanted to show you this is not possible just yet only the PDFs in the black and white are up in the shop at this moment but I'm actually working on a way for you to upgrade to a um, JPEG and PNG where you'll be able to print on colored paper as well. So I was kind of testing that today and this is what it looks like on pink paper. And this is actually pink cardstock that I have here. And that's the first page right there. And then the last one here. And I also um, tested it on regular paper as well. So this white here is cardstock. I actually started using some of these 
of course. And this was this is just green copier paper. So you can actually put these on any type of paper. And I actually sold sold these, just regular paper. And this was cardstock. So I wanted to show you all that. So um, the upgrade is coming up. Don't have it posted just yet. Hopefully by tonight or tomorrow, I have it posted. But I'm going to the beach tomorrow. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> I already I made an appointment with myself to go to the beach. And also, um, this is not up just yet. But see, I know if I tell you all... I'm, I'm going to be more inclined to work on this stuff uh, to make sure it gets up. So that's why I'm doing this. So this is a digital kit as well. And um, I just wanted to try my hand at it. And I thought this came out really beautiful. So it has a few pages. So it has this page where it has like florals all around. But of course, when you fold it, you still have lots of room to do like your journaling. So it has some journaling opportunities there. And then um, the next page, I actually took some of the florals out. So there's even more room. So it's just a bit different, but it's still within the theme of the papers. And then also these beautiful tags that have that uh, same type of background. So I'm feeling like a, a design artist these days. <laughs> And then we have some vocabulary letters, and these are not up yet. They're coming. Um, I finally finished uh, the design process for these. Actually, it should be one more. Did I? What did I do with it? It's actually three pages. I must. I think I didn't print the other one, but there are two sizes. I can't believe I didn't print the other one <laughs> it's three sizes but it's um, I mean three pages and two sizes so you can see the two different sizes that you would get and this is going to be a digital kit as well and that's going to be up by the end of the weekend so be on I'm gonna cut these out so these are coming up also so got quite a few digitals coming up and there will also be a way for you to order them and have them sent to you if you don't have a printer so you don't have to worry about that um, I will I can um, print those out and send it to you out immediately because I always like to ship pretty pretty quickly so um, all right let's get to the altered flash cards and i have like my whole box of stuff on the side of me because this is uh i won't say it's an easy or mindless type of of journal ephemera this time it's a little bit involved so i had to take out quite a bit of stuff so let me do this first the first thing i'm going to do is I took out some flash cards and I actually I had some vintage cards up in the shop but they are all sold out now. Hi Janet. Thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's doing good today. I would love to know what you all are doing. And um so all my flash cards are out and this is what I had left. And look, I had this raggedy card here that was kind of bent up but I just refused to get rid of it cuz I know I probably can use that for this project. And these were just like some extra pieces, but it's like really good cardstock, so I might be using those. And then I had some used flashcards here, and they're just all bent up and nice and pretty. They were were well loved for sure. Hi, Amy, thanks for coming on. And then I had some uh, newer flashcards, also some division fast cards, and they were just uh, flashcards. There were some different colors, and I like the pretty colors. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me get some. I just got some deli paper out, and I have a sand. This is a sanding block. I really need a new, a new sandpaper thingy for sure. But you know, you know, you use what you got. And what I'm going to do is kind of just sand these cards a little bit because they have like a little bit of a coating. You can see there, you can see that glare on these. So the older, the newer ones, I want to kind of make them uh, not grungy, but just uh, not so shiny, not so new looking. So let me put my, let me put my other set of eyes on because I always need those. And it doesn't even take much to kind of grunge them up. And I put the deli paper down because, of course, you know, whenever you're sanding anything, it's like, it's going to be like a nice fine powder look. I already have powder on my hands from that. I just lightly sanded that 
and you can see it already took some of the glare down I know it's hard to see on the camera on the cami cam and so you know like always today I was saying to myself oh, I don't feel like coming on today I say that every day to myself you all and then I just have to tell self nope you need to get this stuff done so this is like a great way to get things done so I'm just taking a dry cloth and just wiping some of that that stuff off I'm not worried about bending the card or anything because most of it you won't see hey Tanya so I'm just gonna do most of these cards like this and like I said you can see it doesn't take much to kind of take that coating off and if you're going to be like, you know, distressing the edges and stuff, it makes it easier for it to accept the card itself to accept the distressed inks if you're going to be doing that. So I'm going to try to run through a few of the cards to get them done. I know there's no way I can do 20 of these on today because we just, we just don't have enough time. wipe just a few things here and this is a little mermaid card so I remember when little mermaid first came out I love that cartoon I would watch that today if it was on Netflix <laughs> but I think uh, Disney is starting to pull its cartoons and stuff off of Netflix I heard on the grapevine and I cannot come I have not confirmed it, but I think Disney is have, going to make their own network, kind of like Netflix. So I think they're pulling their stuff off of the other channels, unfortunately. I don't think I'll be picking up the Disney channel, but it'll be great for kids, of course. I used to love The Little Mermaid, singing the songs and all the songs and everything. And of course, I was an adult when the Little Mermaid came out, but you know, my kids were little then, so they quite enjoyed the Little Mermaid too. Y'all can see on the deli paper, I don't know if you can see, but there you can see the, the stuff coming off of the card, and I'm just lightly sanding it, so I don't know what grit this sandpaper is or anything, so I can't, can't really tell you all, because I don't know. Now, I'm not going to do anything to these cards because they're just like cardboardish. So I think whatever I do, it will be accepted. So I'm going to move this out of my way because I'm done with that. Wipe my hands off a little bit. All right, so we got a few cards that are red, red to go. Let's see. And I actually might use that side of this card. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to like prepare like the back of the cards. And, um, oh, well, that's good, Amy. That's good that you're getting ready to take your mom home. So that means that maybe she's doing a bit better. So we'll keep her in our prayers. Okay, so what I'm going to do on the back of these cards, and I'll just show you one that I've already done. I'm trying to find like the best one to kind of show you. It's hard to see, but um, I'm going to put like some paper on the back of these so that it will be a journaling opportunity as well. And before I do that, I actually have some stamp, I stamped on the back of this because it looked kind of plain. So I'm gonna stamp on the back of the cards. So that one, I guess these don't matter. And I'm gonna stamp on that side on this one and we'll stamp on, yeah, yeah, okay. And then this one, I don't know what I want to show. I think I want the frog to show on that one. And that one and that one. And it doesn't matter on that one. 
So I just took out one of my stamps. And it just has, and I don't know who the stamp is by, so I can, can't even tell you. Um, I have no idea. So I can't tell you. And I have one of my Ranger pads out for this job. Just a brown one. And let's see. Let's take take our deli paper for protection because I have a feeling I'm going to be getting, getting some ink all over the place because these are some nice juicy pads. And I'm not really um, giving it any thought, any rhyme or reason. I'm just, most of this is probably going to be covered up anyway. So that's what it looks like for now. A crazy stamped card. Let me just put that out the way. Grab this one. And again. What's nice about this stamp is that depending on which piece of the stamp I use, something different comes out. So that's nice. But like I said, I can't tell you who made this or what stamp it is because I do not remember because I am notorious for taking things out of the packages when I get it. So I don't even have that anymore. The package that is. But this is a great way to use your stamps too. And some of these cards still have, probably could have sanded them a bit more because they feel like I could rub this ink right off. So, and the purpose of sanding it was so it would accept the ink very nicely. I think these are gonna look great in those little golden books because I wanted them to have a nice whimsical feel. Even though they, they were originally children's books, I know that those books, once somebody purchased them, it's not really gonna be for a child, so. But we still wanna have like that whimsical feeling in the book. This big old stamp also makes this process kind of kind of fast this piece this piece of the process anyway all right and the next I love flashcards kids flashcards I have a bunch of them I just been dying to use them I'm, I'm, I haven't really been struggling to be creative because, you know, so many YouTubers out there to have good ideas. So I can't say that I'm struggling for ideas because I watch YouTube all the time. So there's always ideas out there. Always. Lots and lots of ideas. I don't know why I'm stamping so many right now because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to finish this while we're on the air. I'm gonna do as much as I can. We're just gonna take it like that. We're gonna go with it like that. Hi, Livies. Are you organizing your craft room? You know what? I kinda enjoy organizing my craft room. Oh, you're going on vacation. Where are you going on vacation to? I'm going on, a, it's not really a staycation, but I am going to the beach tomorrow. <laughs> I made a date that I'm going to the beach and I don't care how I feel in the morning. I'm going to get up and I'm going to the beach, leaving everybody at the house. All right. So I'm done with this and I can put this back in here. This is one of the envelopes that I made for my stamps and I made this out of those folders I made it out of the folders you can see I didn't even clean the stamp off I guess I could have cleaned it off <laughs> see isn't that nice so I have a video on that it's like pretty simple to make out of dollar store folders and I love these okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is paper 
All right, so I just got some paper. Just you can use like some book pages, um, and all that good stuff. So Livy says she's going on vacation to Tennessee. Right on, and then back to Georgia for good. Going back to Georgia. So instead of like hunting down like book pages, which I should do, because just you want the book pages that don't have anything on it for this part, because I'm actually trying to make some space where you'll be able to write. And I'm purposefully kind of being a bit wonky with this. Uh, I need some glue. Let's have this again. And. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, vintage photo is back. <laughs> the vintage photo is back. Hey, mouse. I didn't see you there. And truth. How are you all doing? I definitely like the effect of putting the vintage photo on this paper. This paper is a bit of a heavier paper, which is nice. Um, instead of using the the aged paper that I always use, I decided to do something a little bit different. I tried to be different today. And use this paper because the, the other paper is good too. The, um, the coffee dye paper is also good. Okay, so that's going to go on there, and I think it'll fit okay. Fine as frog. Oh, I ain't heard that in a while. Fine as frog's hair. As somebody in my family used to say that all the time. But they are a passed away now. But they used to always say that. I would say, how are you doing? And they would say, fine as frog's hair. <laughs> and that's pretty fine. All right, so that's what it looks like on the back. And it definitely could put something else on here. See, this was from that. I could put something like that on there, of course. That's kind of whimsical. That's from the papers that I showed you all that I did today from the ads. This is actually in that digital pack. And I printed it on yellow paper, so. But like I said, I don't have the upgrade to the ones where you can print on the color paper just yet, but it's not coming. But you can get the black and white photos. Let's see. I just happen to have this on my desk, so I'm going to stick it on. <laughs> Let's see. We're just going to stick it on here some, some kind of way. I should have did the edges kind of a little bit better, but that's okay. I kind of grunged it up a little bit because it was kind of, wasn't like bright yellow, but... Kind of an orange color i like that okay so let's do maybe two more because i know we still have a lot to do in this project and i don't want to take too long i want to at least have a few finished so you all can see so i'll just do maybe like two more of these let's grunge it up some more so Mal says she's doing well, watching and quilting. You know what? I've never been a quilter. I'm trying to think. Have I ever tried? I tried to like make some quilted uh, journal covers. They actually look pretty good too. I have a friend that's a super duper quilter. Man, that's that's what that's her thing. She loves quilting. Her thing is quilting. Like my thing is journals. And she's been doing it for years, so she's super good at it. Put my purple school glue on here. I didn't even realize it was school glue, y'all. Just like the purple. But it's been sticking very well, actually. So you can probably just use regular old glue, school glue, to do a lot of these projects. Y'all remember, like, um, paper mache? I don't know why I'm thinking about that all of a sudden, paper mache. I remember um, in school, we used to do the paper mache and put it like on the back of, well, not on the back, but on balloons. 
and then you will wait you will put it on and then the next day it will be dry and then you would pop the balloon inside and then your paper mache would be like a big old ball and I don't know what we used it for but <laughs> I can't remember that part I just remember the paper mache the things you remember see conversation spark memories because I don't even know what I was thinking about with the paper mache see I think I was a paper lover even back then more nice people I'm trying to give the edges some love on here too because we want the edges to stay down y'all know about me and edge love I'm an edge love kind of girl all right I can zhuzh up the back later okay so we got like three three cards done wait I want to do one that has let's do this one see I I already done went against what I said I was going to do. But that's okay. Yep, make your own paste with flour. We paste. That's what it's called. We paste with the flour. And that stuff gets hard too. Like nobody's business. Even then, I was trying to figure out what else could I do with that paste. <laughs> Besides get it all over stuff at home. Because it had pretty basic ingredients, right? Just water and flour. That's it. Water and flour. It's a good kids project. I don't even know what else we made with those things besides the whole balloon thing. I'm sure you could do a lot with it. All right. Glue her up here. I wanted to definitely do a card that had some red in it because I have red thread in my sewing machine already. So I don't want to have to take that out. So I can use, well, it depends on what kind of fabric because, you know, we got some fabric going in this, in this job as well. All right, I'm going to do one more back here. Let me make sure I'm being mindful of the time as well. Ooh, we're almost at a half an hour already. And we got a bunch left to do. I don't want a shortcut because I'm actually going to use these. So I want them to be really nice and durable and fun to play with and fun to look at. Give those edges some loving, some edge loving, 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 loving. That's my singing for today for you all. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now, for real, for real, for real though. All right, let me just pick up a few things. I'm trying to keep it. A, a tidbit organized and I don't think I need this anymore so and I actually don't think I need the glue okay let's see what we've got here so these cards we're not gonna work with because we're not gonna have time so I'm just gonna put these aside momentarily I'll come back to those later so we have a few that we've done so far and I actually added a little bit of an embellishment here but I'm gonna go back and do some more um let's see yeah i'm old too y'all so you know i think you can tell <laughs> by the stuff i'm talking about discos and stuff like that and black and white tvs and archie bunker show and all that okay so that's the back part so i have to look at what i did because actually i did this a while ago i thought i did this on camera but i don't think so Okay, so the next thing we need is, we need some fabrics. So I, oh yeah, got my box here. I actually took some fabrics out because I had to do a little bit of a spot of ripping. 
I got my big scissors out too. Y'all love these scissors. These scissors are, they are fantastical. I still have some scraps from yesterday in here. All right, so I'm gonna rip some stuff up here. Or rip, not stuff, but some fabrics. And most of these fabrics I got from a thrift store. And so I rescued them. Some of, I know this one was like in the bottom of a bin someplace. I had to go digging for some of these fabrics, but you can usually come up with some good stuff. And it was, this was like a remnant. So I'm just doing some strips. I'm not even, cause I can use these. As, I have some other projects in mind that I'm gonna use some strips for. So I just took out a few, few of these little fabrics. I actually have a journal with this, this cover of these birds. So beautiful. So beautiful. You get it? So high. Uh -huh. I know whatever <laughs> and this fabric right here actually came from a bed sheet isn't that pretty and I have I think when I was cutting this off I was like man this was a big sheet I think it was a king size sheet so that was a bargain but you know if you can find some beautiful sheets in the thrift stores pick them up Sheets are darn expensive. You don't want to cut up a brand new one either. For sure. Ugh. All right, I'm just going to cut one more piece off of here because, you know, I could rip all day long. This is like a good aggression, getting your aggression out type of activity. <laughs> all right, and then this one was a remnant. I got this at a thrift store also. And it's real thin. It's easy to rip, but I don't feel like it rips. It's ripping evenly. Okay, let me do one more of these. Get my aggressions out. Liz, rip. <laughs> All right. And I love this red. And I only had, uh, this was a remnant too, and it was only just like a little bit. I was like, man, I wish they had more of this. It's so vibrant and pretty. It rips real easy too. Really, really easy. You know what? That look that one looks like something from my um my family's house too. I had an aunt that I stayed with and um she was born in 1902 and of course she was a farm girl. And she worked in white people's house. She worked as a, she was kind of a, she wasn't a slave, but she was a servant. And she, uh, she did like their laundry and stuff like that. And so, you know, back then you didn't just like wash your laundry and fold it up and put it away. When you washed it, you ironed it, you folded, you ironed it. It was just like. It was like a, a wash and fold type of service type. That was among among the few things that she did. Uh, uh, one of the few things that she did for them. And so I remember like sheets like that that we had at the house. And whenever we changed our bed linens and stuff, they will always be all nice and folded up, and not just nice and folded up, but they would be uh, they would actually be pressed and ironed before she put it away. So that's one thing that I remember. That was a fantastic memory. Okay, this one, I'm just gonna rip a couple, few of these this way. I probably took out way too much fabric, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I got it, so I'm gonna use it. Now this fabric, I think I actually purchased from Joanne and it was one of those like quarters. Sometimes they have like quarter panels on sale so i paid like maybe 99 cents or something i don't know it wasn't that much and i have a much more than what you saw there and then this one i just got this one this was a remnant at a thrift store also it's real pretty 
and I'll just rip one of those because I need to get a move on. I like handling the fabrics though. They do remind you of stuff, don't they? They really do. Yeah, ironing. I don't iron anything now. Nothing. You know, when I was a kid, the thing when we were going to school, the thing was starched jeans. <laughs> You had to start your jeans, iron every day before I went to school. Now, I do not iron anything. Put the stuff in the dryer and attempt to take the things out of the dryer while they're still nice and warm and hang them up. That's it. And if my clothes do need ironing, I'll like use a steamer or something. Cause I have a steamer, steamer that I use for my work. But I try to kind of limit that. Okay, I'm not going to rip anymore because I think we have plenty, more than plenty for this job. I kind of got caught up talking about the old days. I like that. Okay, so we're going to need these. But I'm just going to set them aside for the moment. I'm going to leave that up there because I know we're going to need it. Okay. And I have this big old roll of lace so i'm going to use some of this on all of these because i have plenty so let's see just making sure i have the these the way that i want them to be all right so they're going to be up like this and i'm going to cut some pieces of lace off to put on the bottom of these <laughs> Even if it's just a little bit over, I don't care. I'm not really measuring out that much. And I'm, yep, I'm using the same piece of lace because I have so much of it. And the way that I'm going to be mixing things up is going to have a totally different look anyway. And hopefully I'm still like in the frame and everything. So I don't have anything marked on my desk to stay in frame. These cards are going to look so lovely when we get done, though. I like the way they came out, my um, test cards. They look awesome sauce. All right. So that's all we needed that. And then the next piece is, I'm not even looking. I'm just grabbing. I'll put some ice cubes in the dryer. Ooh, that's a good idea. All right. Let's see. What do we want here? Fabric. Um, I have so many different fabrics. I think I want to not use the same one over again. How about that? And we will be, we'll be cutting these down a little bit. And of course, I have to use this one that our reminder of the good old days here. This fabric. I think I want to put that one on there. And I need oh, one more. I think I'll put that one on there. Okay. You go away. All right. So now what I need to do is... I'm actually going to be using two pieces of these. And I like the bright colors for this for this mission also because it's going to be part of the the whimsicalness. Oh, we still need this too. Cuz I am kind of being a little bit matchy matchy here. And these big scissors, y'all. I love them. All right, so I'm going to put some there and put some at the top. Okay, you go away. Let's do this card next. Y'all think I could finish a few of these within our hour? <laughs> I'm talking too much. All right, here we go. She's talking too much, but I love talking to y'all. Because y'all get me. 
I got the older crowd here, so y'all get me. Put that over there. Kind of scrunched up on me, but that's okay. All right, so that goes with that one. Next, moving right along. I don't know why I'm picking a card up. I just use this. And actually, it really doesn't matter how the edges look because most of it is going to be covered up because y'all know. She's going to be doing some sewing. All right, and then this is going to go at the top. Somewhat. Okay, so that goes with that. Next, moving right along. Man, before, the one reason why I was telling myself that I didn't want to come on today is because y'all I drank like a tub of coffee this morning and I think I was coming off of my coffee high <laughs> so if you ever drank like a bunch of coffee and then you come down off your high you know it's like you just feel busted <laughs> I was just like busted I was like oh my god I'm so tired now and and I don't drink the coffee for energy. I like it because I like the taste. So, and I think, I think I had three cups today. Like, and I usually I try not to drink more than two. So I, I think I just forgot about the second one. <laughs> that's that's my excuse anyway. I forgot about the second one, and so I decided to have me a third cup. And then this afternoon I crashed hard. She went down. Down to the ground. All right, and then I have uh, this part here. This is good enough for the top. Okay, so now we have a few pieces to wake with. And, okay, let's see. What we're doing now is, all right, I took out my little bucket here. I have some tickets. I think I'm gonna attempt to use. Uh -oh. Trying to be neat about this. About these tickets. Some red ones. I was just gonna pull some things out, but usually, like when I just pull things out and then I don't use them, there's just little bits and pieces of stuff everywhere so i've been trying not to do that too much so i did like this little effect where is that with this one where it had like the tickets on here so i want to do that again because i like the way that came out so i'm going to do it on this green card here yeah i'm just gonna do the whole green thing and I think I would like to do some with the red one as well and maybe put it on that one or that one I guess this will be closer to the red one it doesn't have to be matchy matchy for me but Okay, so that one for those. And then, I think that's it. Okay. So, let me just move some of this stuff up. I have too much stuff up here. My desk is overloaded. All right, so, so, we're getting ready to do some sewing. So, I'm gonna move all this out of my way, I think. I have to look at another card to make sure I don't forget any steps. Okay, we're good. Yep. Oh, all right, sewing machine. Dun, 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 dun. And I already put some red thread in here. And I brought some more thread over here. So let's see. I noticed on the replay, because y'all know I always watch my videos. <laughs> 
on the replay that when I was sewing, things were shaking. I think the sewing machine was against the arm that holds the camera. So hopefully today we're not gonna get that. So I'm just gonna, on this first card here, I'm going to take my little piece of um, fabric and I'm just folding it over to the back. No rhyme, no reason. Doesn't have to be straight. None of that junkity junk junk. And I'm gonna use the red thread on here because I think it would look good against the green. If I can get this, I probably should have did this a little bit fatter. That would make things a lot easier. There we go. Ugh! I gotta mind the pedal. So I can put the pedal to the metal. All right, and I'm going to use a straight stitch on this. And I am back stitching, and I already got this threads all crazy on here. Like really crazy. I wasn't paying attention before I started. But that's okay. It's all right, because there's no messing up when you're doing junk journal stuff. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. All right. If you've made a comment on the videos and I haven't answered, that's just because I'm just being slow when it comes to answering things. Unless people ask me a question, I try to answer them really quickly. But I just been slow. Slow is just the word for it. No rhyme or reason and I need to answer my comments. So if you make a comment, I'm probably gonna answer you eventually. Don't you worry. All right, I'm putting another line of stitching on here. Get this show on the road. And it doesn't matter if the threads are a little wonky. It does not matter. So now I'm gonna take, this is the bottom piece that I'm going to use for this. And in this instance, since I'm gonna have the tickets on here, I'm gonna put the green fabric behind here, kind of sitting up a little bit. And I'm gonna put this ticket on like this. And I'm gonna get this going. And I'm gonna put this ticket on like this, like I did the other one, because I like that look. Oh. Before I do that, should she? She should. We should use some vintage photo on the tickets. Not to worry. It's right next to me, so in my Alex drawer. I love those Alex drawers. We were talking about those the other day. I can get so much stuff in there. It's so organized. I know exactly where to look. And the main reason why I'm using the vintage photo on here is because when I rip the tickets, you could really see like the white edges on it. So I don't want to see the white edges. So I am just knocking those white edges back. All right. And I'm still trying to do a time check. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put you back on here like I had you, I think, if I can remember. And that's right here. I just want to make sure that when I do the stitching, that it's going to go all the way um, through all the layers. And I'm going to use a wide zigzag stitch. And I'm not worried about doing a back stitch on this, and you'll see why. All right, so hopefully I caught all the layers. So this is what it looks like so far. Isn't that pretty? And this. So Rachel asks, how many pages do I usually put into a signature? Um, it depends on the size of the book. Like the the one signature ones that I'm doing, I think I put like 15 pages in to those. Um, when I'm doing like two, like for the little golden books, I'm doing three signatures. So I did like eight eight pages each so it really just depends on like how big the spine of your book is but 
Yeah, it's it's really hard to say. You have to know like how big the spine of the book is if it can handle it. Because when you do it, it's not going to look like there's enough pages in it. But the thing is, once you start filling it up, it's going to be plenty of, you want to have plenty of room in there. So that's kind of my, the best advice I can give you on that. It just all depends on how big that spine is and how many signatures you plan on putting into the book. You almost have to like do some testing on that one to kind of figure it out. It's not that I'm trying to be evasive or anything. I just don't know the answer to that question. All right, this shifted a little bit. I was trying to keep it from shifting, but it shifted anyway. And let me change my stitch a little bit too. And amazingly enough, the sewing machine actually goes through all the layers. Now I'm not gonna go through the top though. So I'm gonna stop there and pull that out. And go down the other side. I could have went through that layer. I think I did down the other ones. Let me just do that. Let's just see how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, if you're doing like, for me, if I'm doing a single signature, I'll put like more pages in. But again, it depends on, depends on that spine, how big your spine is. And um, the books that I'm doing right now, they kind of have a soft cover so they can kind of handle it. But if you have a, a hardback book, it might not be as forgiving. This was really, I felt like this was a little sloppy, but it's still actually very pretty. And, oh. okay, so this is what this card looks like. I can show it to you. I think I'm gonna put one more line of stitch at the top. Eh, no, no, I'm not. Um, and it's a pocket, now it's a pocket here that you can put something in here. You have so many incomplete, girl. You preaching to the choir with the incomplete journals. <laughs> you is preaching to the choir. Cause I got a few myself. All right, so this one, we're gonna put this at the top, just like we did the other one. So y'all can kind of see where I'm going with this now. All right. You know what, it doesn't even have to be all the over all the way to the back. Oh, this upside down anyway. That's why I keep looking on the back to see what the heck I'm doing. I'm not even gonna fold this one over. I'm just gonna let this one hang over the top and let's see how it's gonna look. Actually, I'm gonna do that last and y'all, you will see why. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this one that I did with the clean one. So let's use some vintage photo on our tickets. Yep, the pages and the signature thing, it's a bit of an experiment. I think the very first book that I made, it was a single si signature and, no it wasn't. I think it had two signatures, but I must have had like 20 pages in each signature. But it was a soft, um, it was a, a fabric cover. However, I think I put too much, too many pages in it, but that thing was just beautiful when I got done. So... It was like no big deal. And it had like tons of journaling space in it. Just absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna leave that hanging over the top like I did before and put the ticket in here. Like so. And put this one up like that. And zigzag it. Okay. So this is uh, not a mindless project, as you can see. <laughs> I had to give some things a little bit of thought. It has a few steps. But actually, I'm probably going a lot slower than if I was just, you know, 
just doing this. Let me go down this way. I think I'll have better luck doing it this way. And go back to my zigzag. Uh-oh. Oh, y'all saw that? I got attacked. Technical difficulties, police. Arrest that thread. He tried to get me. the whole edge because you'll be able to see it from the back get rid of some of this thread okay so this is where it is so far trying to show you here this is where we're at so far so we have the pocket it's a tight pocket too and see it looks like this on the back well you'll you'll see it get a get a better look in a few minutes because i think i might be able to do one more and then we'll just have to do a little a spot of a review here and then this piece i'm just going to put on with a straight stitch with it hanging over the top i'm going to have a little fabric hangy hangy stuff Actually, there's a few more things I want to do to it, to these two. So I'll probably just, even though we only just did two, I'll just probably just do these and then I'll show you. See, I meant to do a straight stitch and I wasn't paying attention. Okay. That's high. There's no mistakes because it looks absolutely, absolutely stunning. <laughs> it still came out very stunning. It was a stunning mistake. All right, so let me move this out the way since our time is uh, getting short. Ugh. Ooh, gotta be careful moving that thing. All right, so we did these two and we still have, we did, ha I did take the fabrics out for these, so I'll just have to, we'll take care of those later. Okay, so now we have these two and I still wanna go just a tidbit further on these and I'm gonna use some some more little laciness here and I just felt like when I did these that they didn't have they still were kind of they felt a little empty even though I'm gonna put something inside so let's see I'm just gonna take look Snoopy you could take Snoopy card and put him in there or one of the altered um, playing cards that we had I think I have some over here too. So I took a few things out to go into the journal. So like remember we did these cards. I love these cards. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? So another spot. So see this can go in here. Snoopy can go in there too. He don't want to leave. <laughs> so that makes a nice pocket. And then you can actually like paper clip this on because you still want to use this or put this in another pocket. It could be like a pocket in a pocket. Okay, but I felt like they didn't have enough, enough stuff on them. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put like a, a little bit of glue here. Ugh. We're gonna need some Fabri-Tac for this job. Let's see. You did a hardcover with 50 pages. Now, was it 50 pages or was it um, was it like, you know, because one, one page is like four pages in a journal. So, like, how many pages did you actually have in there? Like, I guess they call them leafs. So, four pages would be like, I think four pages I mean two one page would be like four leaves something like that I don't know y'all don't get me telling y'all stuff I don't even know about I don't want people to call the book bookmaking police on me but when I said had 20 pages it came out 20 pages and two inserts 
that was like actually i can't even remember i do remember that book had like about 140 pages that you could write on so it was a ridiculous amount okay and i'm gonna put some more glue down here i always gravitate to putting things on the right hand side maybe because i'm right-handed i guess left-handed people would do the same thing so i'm just putting a little bit of glue down and that's plenty to hold the ribbon down and then um where are they you're leaving yeah. okay bye okay so i'm gonna take one of my my scrabble pieces out so if you all are just coming on this is going to be a printable in a shop and actually technically i have everything done but i just have to do my thumbnail and all that stuff and then i can put it up in the shop so it's not up yet these are not the scissors I normally use either. I got tape all on it. I don't even know where this tape came from. These are like the extra pair of scissors. I couldn't find my scissors. I don't know what I did with them. Okay. So, and I'm just picking some of these pieces. No rhyme. No reason. And I printed these on cardstock. So, I always liked um, the Scrabble piece look. So I was like, I want some of those for my journal, so I made it. So of course, once I make something for myself, uh, my I always my intention is to share. So I put it up in the shop, and I'm just taking down the little white pieces off the edges here, because it's already kind of has that distressed look to it, which is nice. So you actually don't have to do anything. And then we're gonna take this and. So if you're actually doing personalizing the journal for somebody, the Scrabble pieces are like excellent. Excellent. I'm gonna have to try to I'm gonna try to have this up by at least by the end of the weekend. The Scrabble pieces and everything that I showed you all. If you didn't see it and you want me to show it again, I can do so. If not, if nobody asks, I will not. We can rewind. Okay. So H, no rhyme or reason. I just like the Scrabble pieces. <laughs> and I'm gonna put one on this one. So all of them kind of have like a Scrabble piece on them because I just, I was in a mood. All right. I was in a Scrabble piece mood. And of course it has all of the letters in it like a regular Scrabble, Scrabble board will have. So you can make tons of words with it. Tons and tons and tons. All right. I like that Snoopy card now. He's speaking to me. I always liked Snoopy. My mom used to say that those was the boringest cartoons. She hated, hated the peanuts. <laughs> But I remember, because, you know, we didn't have that much cartoonage. Like, you know, people have the cartoon channels now and Disney Channel. But back then, the um, holiday cartoons was the joint. And the Peanuts was one of them. You know, you knew when it was a holiday, the Peanuts were going to have a special one. And you've probably seen it every year, but it was just like the first time because they only showed them once a year. So that was kind of cool. I'll get you a sewing machine if you can afford it. <laughs> Don't get it if you can't afford it. Okay. So, all right. So, these are the two that we made with the tickets. And I really like the way that they came out. Let's put this on here. And so, you can see they have pockets. She can stick, stick our altar cards. I'm going to make some more of them cards, y'all. I just... I like the embossing that we did on those cards. They're so beautiful. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> and then, see, that can go on there. It's like a super Larry type of card. And then, of course, there's a journaling opportunity on the back. So there's space for the person to journal. Or, remember, we made like these little notepads and stuff too. I actually made this one first. I don't think y'all seen this one but you can put like a little notepad in there and a card also 
So even more opportunities to journal. So, so far, if I can find them. It's gonna take me a little bit to get my 20 on these. But I think tonight I'm gonna be working on those digital kits. Cause I gotta go to the beach tomorrow. <laughs> I got to go to the beach tomorrow. And then there, see, isn't that nice? That's beautiful. You can, and you can stick photos in there and you can stick this into another pocket within your journal. So these are the ones I have so far. Let's, let's bring this down closer, closer than most. And so it's this one that I have. And we did this one together and it has a little stringage going there. So don't be afraid to use different color threads because, you know, usually I use just a plain Jane thread, which is like this one. It has a neutral thread on there in the back. Just some paper on the back for some writing for a journaling opportunity. One man's trash. Yes, sir. Like your kids probably would throw these flashcards away even after they get all ripped up and everything. But I see treasure. <laughs> and then this the one. I love this fabric too. I don't even know where I got that fabric from. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this one. This was kind of a beat up card too that I used on this one. And I used my... Um, my scrabble pieces on these two with a little bit of lace. They're nice and nice and frilly, but not too frilly because I'm not like a big lace girl. You can't really tell, can you? Because <laughs> everything I've been doing has a little bit of lace in it. But I try not to go too overboard. I think this card is my favorite card, though. It's so beautiful. And then there's the back right there. So that is all we're going to do today while we're on. And so if you all are interested, you can head over to my shop because again, oh, let's go up here. Again, um, these are coming, the, um, the Scrabble pieces. And it's actually, yeah, um, these Scrabble pieces here, again, they have like all of the pieces there. These are not up, but they're coming. So you can follow the shop. You'll see when it gets posted. And then we have the vocabulary letters. And actually, I'll probably use some of the vocabulary letters on here too. And so there's going to be some smaller ones. And then there's two pages of the big letters or the big um, vocabulary letters. So those are a coming this weekend also. And this kit... This digital kit here is a coming also with some tags. So be on the lookout for that one. And then this is already up in the shop. So you can already get the digital kit for this. I don't have the listing for the physical products just yet, but if you are interested in it and you don't see the physical product on um, the physical listing up just yet, um, just send me a message and then we can take it from there. Um, until I get it up. So hopefully I'll have that up this weekend. So I've got my hands full and I purposefully showed you all this stuff so I can get it done. <laughs> Cause not only do I have like a bunch of uh, unfinished journals, like some of you, I got a, a bunch of unfinished projects that just need to just, I just need to get her done. Basically she needs to get her done. All right, so with that, I am going to shove off, and I want to thank everybody who was here on the chat and all of you who didn't say anything. Again, I appreciate you as well. So thanks, Rachel and Janet and Amy for coming on. Also, Tanya and Truth, um, Mouse and Livies, thanks for coming on. I hope you have a good vacation. I'm going to have a good vacay day at the beach. <laughs> Don't tell my people at the house. They're going to wake up and they're going to say, where is Lizzie at? She's going to be gone to the beach, y'all. <laughs> All right. So with that, I am going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day. 
and enjoy life.